so I just got done watching the uh, the high drama video at, at uh, the Off Grid Solar Project with Troy, and I'll tell you, I'm pissed. I'm more pissed about somebody doing that than you know what what some junkie uh, or fools done to me, because you know some fool's gonna do some fool stunts and make himself look like a fool. What's going after Troy looks like some kind of real concerted Haiti raffer. And uh, that, that's not even close to cool. But we knew there was some sort of a group out there that hates the off-grid, micro-cabin, small, alternative lifestyle type people so much that they've been calling in a lot of hate on them. And, you know, going out on location, doing a bunch of sneak around, investigate them on stuff, find out where they live, where the landlords live, all that kind of stuff, finding out when they're home and when they're not and attacking and vandalizing stuff. So far, we haven't been told of any face-to-face -face confrontations. Except, for some reason, somebody was really reading Troy as a wimp and was going after him. Okay, this guy was a tanker, okay? Everybody in the military has got a job, okay? Some jobs may be more high status than others, but I can tell you right now... <laughs> There's a reason a lot of special operator types, when they get around regular military, are are not necessarily treated like the rock stars that get treated as in, in the civilian world or even in law enforcement. And that's because, you know, we just don't, sometimes we just get tired of hearing that shit. And uh, everybody's got a job too, especially to whoever it was that was going out and saying that Troy was like a stolen valor type guy who had never been in the military. You know, he was in in the late, what, late 80s, early 90s? when, um, you know, there just weren't a lot of deployments happening. Some people didn't go to Desert Storm. I didn't go to Desert Storm. Those who did, it was a big, bad, nasty, hot camp out in the desert. Not a lot of action anyway. Some, but not huge amounts. So, you know, it is what it is. These are all still people that stepped up to the plate. When I'm hearing phrases like, oh, that tiny house movement, you know, the people that are trying to usurp the law, you know, what, so what you're doing is you're putting a wealth standard as saying that if you're not at a certain level, you need to be in jail or homeless or uh, a ward of the state or something like that. That's about as anti-freedom and anti-American as anybody can get, especially for somebody who's grown up here, which I, I think we're dealing with all Americans on this situation. Now... At Bill and Rose's off-grid solar cabin, earlier in the year, somebody went and vandalized it when they weren't there. And apparently they had a stalking problem, too. Maybe they called the FBI, maybe they called local cops, I don't know. Um, at my <coughs> off-grid location, there's been some drama, but the thing is, we have 24-7 we have security out at that place. And somebody screwing around with that guy is screwing around with the wrong, wrong hombre. I, I tell you right now. Um, and there's a, a, there's a few people on call that somewhat flaky, all that. But if they get motivated, <clears throat> you know, it is what it is. But, you know, if somebody out there wants to be some kind of stalker, hater on the off-grid solar living people... This is really an act of war against all of us because they're doing a bunch of detective stuff. They're doing a bunch of sneaking around. We, we hear a uh, copy of a recorded conversation between this person and one of the city officials. We know that there was an armed police visit at Troy's place because there had been allegations that he was growing weed or something, which apparently he wasn't. False allegations of that sort are really common with those sorts of things. Recently, there was a theft of my tools. Now, there's been a suspect in that, but it's not proven. If it ever comes out that these haters decided to come and reach me like that, uh, and I'm not saying it has happened, okay, I'm not saying conclusively anything's gone one way or the other, then, you know, like I said, I announced a bounty that, one, if the person who had been a, uh, uh, a suspect is proven innocent, and it was some other group, then uh, that bounty is doubled, okay? If it was this person, because I kind of already kind of thought so, I'm not going over the full bounty on that. But if it's that group, or I get to eat, we only need to identify one or two people before we blow the lid off the whole group. That bounty is doubled, okay? 
Now, I don't think there's any organization that would involve themselves with this that's large enough to reach both East Coast and West Coast, Troy's West Coast. But it looks like somebody out there has really decided to focus some efforts against this guy who I don't think deserves to get treated that way. If you've got a personal grievance against this guy, there's several ways to handling it. Calling up county and city officials and the police to, to go and handle it for you, there's a reason why they're going to be a little jaded in their response to that sort of thing. But when I'm hearing about how the tiny house movement is to usurp the law, there's, there's some language used in that which starts to ring a couple little bells. And I'm thinking... Somebody thinks they're doing society a favor by going against people who, you know, aren't wealthy enough to afford a McMansion in the suburbs, or, and also don't want to become your renter, okay, who don't want to be a dependent renter or pay absurd prices at a trailer park and still not own anything. Um, that's where, you know, to, to pay for parking space at the price of an apartment, up with that okay the thing is this is somebody who wants war and they want to be able to prove that they can destroy anybody individually and get away with it I think where we need to circle wagons is to show that no you're not going to get away with it this is a guy who lives in peace with the consent of the property owner apparently some kind of a family connection very normal thing uh, even when somebody moves in and starts building on this type of stuff, there's consent to move in and start building. There's nobody's sneaking, nobody's lying about, hey, we're going to go in and build something. We dealt with a situation out here in the West Coast where somebody said, yes, come in and start building. <clears throat> and then as soon as the infrastructure is in, they were making a backdoor deal to sell that place out from under us. Um, that situation's already, you know, kind of been demonstrated that... Uh, they made some bad choices in, in, in who, who they were going to screw with. And it's real easy. You just don't, don't I, I, I don't go picking fights with people. Okay, I don't chase, chase people with a bullhorn and then try to claim victim status if I'm chasing somebody with a bullhorn. Uh, I don't see Troy chasing it. He lives in alone out in this little woods. He goes to church. That's that. But it makes me think that there might be somebody associated with one of those organizations that sees itself as some sort of a superior superior to society, elite type thing, because they've managed to, uh, you know, maybe, maybe learn a few handshakes or something like that. I don't know. But I really think it's a smart idea to back off of these people who just want to live alone or have their off-grid thing and do that lifestyle. It's not the usurpation of the laws of the land to live that way. Okay, it's not. These people are still participants in society, very much so. And they don't deserve to be treated that way. Uh, as far as being deserved to be treated as bums or vagrants or something like that, people have different styles of living. This shirt, for example, is a $50 shirt. Look a little wrinkled or frumpy? Well, that's part of the style, okay? I get my pants from a company called Duluth Trading. They're 70 bucks a pair. If I get them on sale, they're 50 Somebody, I walk in and somebody's wearing, you know, Sears or Walmart or, or, or JCPenney special stuff. I'm like, yeah, okay, you're well-dressed, whatever, man. You get your stuff at the mall. I get my stuff special order from a custom place. I drive an old truck. The tools in my truck had been worth about, you know, much more than the truck. I do that on purpose so I don't look like a rich target when I'm out and about town, but, I, but you know, there, there's a bit of, uh, 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 what do we call, image management and some of that stuff. If I need to clean up and go on the TV show or something like that, I'll do that. But to pick on Troy like you're doing, or pick on that trucker couple, Bill and Rosa, which I still think is there's some connection with that. <coughs> as somebody who thinks that it's fun to go on a hate campaign against people and and maybe use that as a project, I don't know. But I will say this. We're going to find out who you are and payback is a bitch. <laughs>